Good afternoon, friends. This talk will be about sharing images with doctors and colleagues or instructions to the patient how to post x rays on social media. Whether you are consulting a doctor online or you are seeking an opinion from your colleagues, it is essential to share clear, understandable and readable X-ray images on the net. Unfortunately, this does not happen routinely. It is an exception to see a proper X-ray on WhatsApp or Facebook or Instagram rather than a rule. Most people do not know how to post a proper X-ray on internet. Usually, X-rays are shared by just taking the pictures of the same against any background and in most cases are unreadable or downright pathetic. You can see the X-ray which was sent to me by a friend very recently and that was, uh, no, no, that's an X-ray where I have taken it against the wall to show you how an X-ray looks against a wall with a bright illumination from both sides where you can see only the darkness of the X-ray. This is one taken against a dark background where you can see the fingers of the person holding X-ray more clearly than the contents of the X-ray. And this is the sort of X-ray that patients normally send to me on WhatsApp for online consulting. This one taken again open door shows the room and curtains in the door more beautifully than the status of the knee. And in any case, this X-ray is a rotated X-ray. Another one on the window focuses more on the colored pillows and quilts and the coconut trees outside the window than the content of the X-ray, which in itself is a little pathetic. With the type of X-ray shown above, is it possible to take a sensible decision? No orthopedic surgeon can take a sensible decision if an X-ray like this is sent to him. And this was the X-ray sent to me this morning by one of my orthopedic colleagues saying that patient is admitted in a corporate hospital for pillar surgery. Can he be treated by TPTS or non-operative or blocks? Now, is it possible to give an honest opinion on this group, on this X-ray? Certainly not. A good X-ray picture must look like the one here. Clear, precise, conveying all the essential information while hiding information that can cause medical legal issues like patient name, age, sex and the hospital. How do we take proper X-rays? First, you need a proper laptop or a desktop computer, which is not rare these days. Almost everyone has got a machine. We have to just open a blank document. And in the blank document, you have to expand to get a full screen view so that you have the whole of the screen as a bright white illumination. At this time, you have to switch off the light in the room so that this remains the only illuminated site. So this illuminated background will help to show your pictures clearly, which can be photographed. So you are switching off the room lights and also switch off the phone camera flash. In subsequent pictures, the room looks bright. It is because I'm using an iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is low light adjusted, where it will show the details even in light. But theoretically, you must switch off the lights in the room and switch off the flash. Only then you should be able to see the X-rays properly. Now you use a good quality phone 
and a good resolution camera ask your assistant to hold the x-ray in front of the screen with a blank document if the image is not parallel to the screen ask the assistant to make it more parallel adjust the parallelity of the camera as well and ensure the camera is parallel to the image rather than the screen if by accident more for orientation the radiographer has taken the x-ray and obliquely your assistant can straighten the x-ray or rather oblique it on the screen and then you can shift the phone to get a correct orientation or the precise position of the x-ray that conveys all the details and once you have shot all the images you have to go to the gallery phone gallery or wherever it is stored transfer it to the computer and then you have to edit the image one by one so if you see the original image here on the screen you can see it is got blank spaces on both sides and the patient's name and other things on the bottom which should be avoided you can always see the arrow is showing you that the blank sorry the patient's name the name of the hospital the patient's age other confidential data is being shown that should be avoided you must crop the image to remove all the non essential data while using the editing software to highlight the essential data see again this is an image before cropping with all the non essential data with the patient's name and details and this same image after cropping becomes safe to send to other people the following videos will show the full steps and that will give you an idea of how to actually take a x-ray on your computer or laptop screen make a proper image edit it and then share it either in your clinical groups or whatsapp groups to your colleagues or you can share the link of this talk to your patients so that they get better educated and can share their images with their doctor for a more sensible and a proper diagnosis and thereby management good morning friends this is the video of how we are going to take photograph of x rays using a monitor we open any documentation file like ms word or pages on apple and we open a blank document now this blank document we get to full screen mode so that we have the whole screen available illuminated with high brightness we must have a good camera for uh, taking the pictures and we ask an assistant to keep the pictures on the screen to see that uh, we are able to take proper photographs multiple x-rays can be taken at the same time just ensure that you have got a good high resolution camera and that you have the images parallel to the screen you can take a batch of x-rays and record them or if there is a patient you can use a laptop or a personal computer to record these after this we must start uh editing it which will be shown again in the next video i will be showing you uh, how to edit a picture we first go into the gallery and take off the pictures that we want to edit and bring them to a folder and when we open the picture we can see that the bottom part has the patient's name and lot of blank spaces on the side we just use a crop tool 
and crop the X-ray to hide the patient identity. You can see again one more image is being opened and it is being just cropped. So the sequence is very very simple. You have to have a good high quality monitor. You have to have a decent camera. X-rays have to be placed parallel with the lights off and no uh, flash. The X-rays have to be photographed and once they are photographed, the image is cropped to ensure that no names are visible. So I hope what I have been able to what I'm trying to convey is being shared properly. And let us continue. The videos are being recorded separately and the same shall be attached once I finish this talk. So in conclusion, it is very easy to send proper pictures if you know how to take those pictures. Just compare between the picture on the left and picture on the right. This one has been sent by a senior orthopedic surgeon to me very recently and see how pathetic the image is and this one is an image taken by me just on my computer for this talk. So in modern times, sharing x-rays and scan images has become a necessity and a precise knowledge about how this is done is very, very, very important. This short teaching video is being brought to you by the Indian Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. And should you be interested in the IOS courses or learning orthopedic or joining an academic teaching group, you can message me in WhatsApp. The number is 9791020615. The number is actually given in the slide before 9791020615. And I shall be happy to accommodate you in any teaching session. Thank you and best wishes.